So in this episode here, we leave um, Broome Gateway Caravan Park. We head back down towards Broome, turn off on the Broome Cape Levique Road, and then come into these camps along here. And our first camp is actually at uh, James Price Point. Well, actually it's not. We found that we couldn't fit there, so we actually moved down to 800 metres from James Price Point. And it is a four-star rating. From James Price Point, we move up to Dougal Flat Rock, um, which is a one, two, three, four and a half star rating, and I definitely agree with that. So we've just come off the Broome Road and we're heading up to Cape Levique. We're going to James Price Point, and we've just aired down, so we'll go and see if we can find a spot. I hope so. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. At the James Price so this track looks a little bit smoother. Oh, there's a bumpy bit here, Joey. We're going to the left. Yep. So we're at uh, James Cross. Point and there's nowhere to turn around so it looks like we're gonna have to back back a little bit. That'll be fun. The local knowledge here to let us know where to go. Looks like there's more camping over there but uh, a little bit tight for big caravans. There's Grace and Tom and Morris. See you guys, did you have fun? <laughs> Morris, <laughs> Morris, I love you too. I have my consent. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> See ya. Keep that in there. Lots of room down oh, yeah. there. Yeah. See ya. Bye. I can see a good fire pit over here. So we're at uh, James Price Point. Uh, we've got a few vans around until the fishing there. Uh, south side over here. Put the sun light up. We can see some news. There's David there. And then if you go further over here, there's someone actually flying a kite. There's some people picnicking on the end there. And uh, it's quite spectacular. So, beachfront view. Where are we, Wynn? Currently sitting on the beach at James Price. Okay. Isn't it lovely? Yeah. Hello. David's actually having fun putting his tent up because uh, Leah's actually coming. There's David, he's trying to work it out, he's having a bit of trouble here, poor old man. He actually lost the instructions and now he doesn't know what's in and what's out. Check out this sunset. Very cool. Last night when we were fishing this was totally covered in water, we didn't know there's rocks here. David's out there trying to find his um, hooks and sinkers that he lost last night. Good luck. Out. Someone's actually uh, drawn this love heart. I love broom. And uh, yep, I can see why. You can see in the distance, someone's actually uh, camped on the beach. And if you look really closely on the horizon, you can see a little body person standing there. So we'll just go past and see how they're doing. So as the, uh, the high tide comes up, it just munches away at the uh, the, uh, the side of these cliffs and you have a look up there you can see all the different layers and levels so you know maybe that was the old sea floor years ago it's just amazing and that's where our caravan is over there and we walked right down to that point so all up we'll be doing probably about 10 k's and there's wendy she's forcing me to do it so we are good, the bit I get back, I reckon I'm going to be pretty sore. Doing some fishing, um, going to have a great sunset over there tonight. Uh, walked uh, 10 k's today, right around to that point. Uh, got the bait here, I've got some Emu Export Lager. Our caravan's back that way and uh, 
see the catch of fish now, everything's ready. I've got a few little nibbles. Um, I'd say that they're small fish, but um, something would be, would be nice for tea. Otherwise, we're having steak. Happy days. It's actually quite a good picture. Well, you can't let this one go now, can ya? Start walking back. Let the waves do all the work. Keep going. Oh, stingray, is it? You hold that, you get the hooks out. Just watch the barbs, yeah? Good sunset, though. Look at that. Just jagged him, eh? There you go. He'll come in. We're doing a catch and release here. These guys are looking after us here. Here we go. <laughs> go, 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 go. So it looks like we've got steak tonight. Uh, we did the catch and release of the stingray. Um, thankfully, to those guys over there who helped me and they were able to actually film me too. We've got a beautiful sunset happening over there. And uh, yeah, it's been a good day. So, Unfortunately, just caught a stingray, but um, like I said, we're having steak tonight and enjoying our time on the beach. So we're heading up to Champagne um, Springs or Pools. It's hard sand, so we're, we're doing pretty well. Tight out. So to get to these pools, we've got to go 11 kilometres from where we actually hit the track. We've done 6.5, so I reckon it'll be around the, uh, at that point over there is probably where we're going to end up finding these pools. This is the point that uh, we saw from the distance. We're coming into it now. I reckon this is where the, uh, the rock pool's going to be. We came from that very far point to this point here, and then we came along into here. And we've even looks like we've got like an infinity pool over there which is pretty cool. Check this wheel, look at that, look at that. It's going to water there. Oh here's another nice one, some fish in there. Oh I can swim in that one. Uh, this is my swimming pool, this one here. That one is deep. And your own little rock pool, no rock lines. Doesn't get much better, Joey. Mm. Look at the colour of the water. So, this will be interesting. Ah, nice and slow, is it? And Wendy uh, picked up Leah from the Room Airport after two delays and uh, in Melbourne finally got home. Um, so when she runs up here, she'll see welcome Leah. Here comes Leah. She's in she's in the first hundred meters of a five hundred thousand k run, and following up behind is Wendy. And Wendy's coming a firm second in that race. A firm second? No, she's she's. She's had it, she's thrown the towel in. So it doesn't get much better than this. Uh, we actually moved positions today. Um, our other camp was right down on that point there and it was just too windy and dusty. So we've actually moved around and check this out here. And just over there, there's another big bay, um, but uh, we'll stay here a few days. But uh, a little bit of fishing, 
Got David over there having a go. This is our view out of our windows today. So we're basically surrounded by the ocean. We actually heard it all last night. Camping at uh, Dougal Flat Rock, that's actually uh, the flat rock there. And this is uh, very nice. The prime position would be up on that uh, cliff there. Uh, we've got David and Wendy over there. We're a little bit further around. And then these guys have been here for a while. They're set up for fishing. You have that lovely bay that goes right around to where the pools are where we were swimming yesterday. So one of the jobs you have to do when you're remote is um, keep your water supplies up. We're actually going into uh, Broome today. So we're going to uh, empty our 105 litre uh, back into our general water and uh, refill if we can. So this is the entrance point here. We're worried it's a bit too narrow, but um, we've got our van in. And you just got to make sure there's no one coming the other way. You've got beach access to the left there, but you definitely wouldn't take a big van down there. Uh, we're heading into Broome, uh, we've got an empty bladder, we've put all our water into our caravan, uh, we're going to do a bit of a stock, stock uh, shop, uh, stock take shop, and um, might even go to Cable Beach for a swim, what do you reckon Joey? Yep, and I might ring the kids. Yeah, ring the kids. Yeah, and I'll, heard from us for a week. And I'll upload um, uh, Oslap and uh, Big Lap episode 8. We were traveling around Broome looking for some water. Uh, they had some at the information centre, but unfortunately it was um, very slow to come out. So we thought, think water Broome. So these guys deal with all the pumps and all the uh, gear that you need for uh, pumping water. And they also let us use their tap for a gold coin donation. So I just thought I'd give them a, a bit of a shout out. Um, when you come inside their shop, we'll just have a look. So they've got a lot of good stuff in here. They're professionals, and to actually find such a professional place out here in Broome is really good. They've got lots of good gear. These happy staff, look, they're here to help. Look at this. It's better than what we've got down in Bendigo. They've even got a little fountain here. Probably got some crayfish in there. And look, look at all the stuff they've got. So they've got all the, uh, the good operators, the good stuff. They've even got Pope for your gardens and stuff. So these guys uh, looked after us, so make sure you look after them. We're coming back from Broome, heading back up the cave. Um, we're staying at Dougal Flat Rock. We shifted camp because it was a real lot of red, um, windy dust at our first campsite. But we stayed there three nights, which is all you're allowed anyway. Um, we shifted up further up the cape to um, the Flat Rock, and it's um, much nicer. You're right there, just about on the beach, and um, it's got really nice white sand. You're still in a bit of the red, but uh, it's not as sandy and blowy, so we're happy we've uh, shifted for a couple of nights. So we had to air down to uh, 15 psi um, to travel on this track. It sort of goes from fairly corrugated to smooth to corrugated with a fair bit of loose dust in the middle. There's a couple of little washout bits that you have to be very careful with. Um, but uh, all in all, travelling on about 70 k's an hour is uh, quite good. So this is our camp down here, Minari Point, Dougal Flat Rock. There are our vans set up there. We're still all, way, all by ourselves. These guys over here have been here a couple of nights. So. A very nice outlook onto the ocean. We have arrived. There's a couple of boats out there fishing. So we're actually cooking salmon in the dark tonight. I need to turn this on first. And we're putting the salmon on. We've got wind breaks because it's quite windy. And you can't probably, whoops, you can't, there we go. So Joey's actually put the uh, the butter in. And now... A bit too much butter. Uh, I don't think we're level either. It's sort of sliding down, isn't it? Oh. Okay, so what's, what's in the bag, Joe? Salmon with a bit of flour on it. 
so in flour. And so we were sourced, we sourced that from Wendy. So we're doing a famous salmon recipe. The idea here is you actually um, brown it on both sides. And skin side down. Skin side down first, yes. I knew that. Another one. So it's easy to actually flare on a bag, and that way you just put the bag away. So skin side down. So after this, what do we do? We sear the poor sides. Yes. We did the crispy. And look at that. First. Look at how crispy that is. That's yum. Yep. And it's all in ba butter. Just butter. Mm. In nice mm. Really nice, So Wendy's actually provided the fish tonight. And where did you source that? Was that actually at Coles or Woolies? No, she caught it. Like she caught it. it. Oh, she well, it well done. Atlantic salmon. So you must have been in the middle there. <laughs> I was in the Atlantic. You were. Good <laughs> job. We now is actually taking the salmon out. We've cooked it in butter and it looks really good. We're doing the capers now, so more butter. That's it. More butter. That's what I to do. So you put the butter in. And now you're actually there, using yeah. the oil from the fish at the same time, which is really good. So Wendy knows more about it than us, and she's oh, never knows. done it before. <laughs> she's was. Okay, so the, the fish flour, is in the flour. Some flour left over, so yes. you just pop that in. The leftover flour out of the fish that yep. we covered it in. Yep. You would have done that too. Mm. Yes. And now what do we do, Joey? Put the papers in. Oh. No, you don't. You mix it up first, Wendy. <laughs> Okay, so we're putting the capers in now. So how many capers? They say two, two shot glasses, two shot glasses of capers, I reckon. One shot glass if you're only doing two pieces, but we're doing three pieces. And now we put some lemon. See how it's actually... Yep. Some lemon. Yep. So we couldn't find any lemon trees out here, so we've actually bought some lemon in a bottle. You done now, Joe? So I put the capers in with yep. a bit of the juice. Yep. And then I put some lemon juice in. Mm -hmm. and just keep eating that. So it's actually um. It's, bit, it's like a sauce. Yeah. Breaking up our salmon, and we've got the sauce going on the salmon, and we've got potatoes, carrot. And also, we've got some really nice, what have we got here, Wendy? Carbonara. Carbonara. Sauce. Yum, oh, good job. Off from early morning fish. Uh, the sun hasn't quite come up yet. Uh, I'm going to try throwing this little devil out and see what I can catch. No, it might have one over here. Oh, nice. Oh, no! That was a nice one, too. He's got it. He's got it. It's on. You got it, Dave? <laughs> oh. Yay! Let's swing the other way. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a decent size too. Oh. No! So, uh, got a nice size queenie here and some pike. Uh, we caught and released a few uh, unintentionally without touching them, but uh, yep, it's been a good day and uh, that's going to be a good meal. Don't know if we'll cook these or use them as bait. We'll see. So this is what happens when you send your husband down to set up your <laughs> beach shelter. It's very easy when you know how. Oh, oh. he's got it, he's got it. It's going to blow away. Ten minutes later that took. But he hasn't got it out yet. He's praying. <laughs> Please don't blow away. Oh, looks like he got it. 
So this is the life. We're at the beach to ourselves. We caught fish this morning. Uh, we're doing some reading. Got the caravans up there. Just gotta watch out for sharks. We've seen a couple of sharks and we've seen a turtle. So when we get wet, we just jump in quickly and uh, make sure that uh, we haven't got any sharks. So Graham's daring the ocean with the sharks. He's sussing it out. He's looking, seeing if he can see any. He's getting closer. Look out, he's in. <laughs> And he's out. <laughs> oh, that was a nice belly flop. <laughs> That's how you do it. So Joe and Wendy's turn to get wet now. Yeah. They're, they're considering should they go in? Would there be sharks? I think they're pretty safe. There they go. They're making a plunge now. This is going to be a high, half pike tuck. Um, dip straight down, straight up. Uh, minimal splash. They're just thinking about it now. They're, they're daring each other. Who should go first? Go, Wendy, says Joe. No, you go. No, you go. Okay. Okay. We're going to do it now. And like, looking for sharks. No sharks to the left, no sharks to the right. Time to go into the water now. And here goes Joey, she's wet herself. Uh, no, she's actually wet her arms. Um, she didn't actually wet herself. Uh, Wendy's doing that superior hand on hip thing just to make sure. Oh, Joey thought there was a shark. There was a shark. Oh, there she goes again. There she goes again. Oh, oh gosh. No. Nah. Just a bit of weed. Jump in now, there's no sharks. There's Joe, she's in. Yep, she's out, look at that. She's, oh no, she's in again. She's going for the double slam dunk. And she's doing pretty well. Oh, the double slam dunk. Oh, she's in, she's gone for the third time. And Wendy's trying to help her. Wendy's trying to help her up. There's, there's issues here. Oh. <laughs> there's nothing like making a spectacle of yourself. sunrise out from our camp. You actually see an oil rig right out there on the horizon. <laughs> oh nice. Very nice. He's not going back. Don't no, hold the rod. We pull him up. He's a good size. How's that one? That's a beauty. Good job. Turn. See the wheels on the trailer won't turn. He'll be right once he gets on the hard stuff. He'll be fine. He should be on the hard stuff by now. Uh, you don't need to go that fast. Go, son. <laughs> Having fun. Go, son. Having fun. And he's up. 
I just want to show you a really good example of recycling. So this guy has actually used old rubber tires, which are actually bigger than the ones he's got here, um, for his trailer. I reckon this is absolutely magic. What a great job. We're doing a morning beach walk and we're coming across some pretty awesome rocks here. And uh, we've still got the, uh, the dark red cliffs. And that one there, look at that. That's a picture frame. What's happening, Joey? <laughs> it actually looks like it's got eyes and a hat. And it looks like it's from Papua New Guinea. One of those, that's pretty interesting. You can see where quad bikes come around. And this is where um, high tide would have been last night. So it's a fair drop. It just keeps eating away at the sand hills. So the car's ready, set to go. Now, somewhere in here is Leah. How much room do you have here? No, not much. Oh, you've got a water bladder. Oh, it's empty. That's very good. Yes. Hi, Hi, guys. Nice van, Joe. Eden Wild Tracks 20. Last night at uh, Dougal Flat Rock, and look at that. Spectacular.